This video is sponsored by gearbest.com. Hey guys, Gaze Gerald here and sorry for not posting a videos for quite some time. I was busy. Anyway, back with another comparison video of custom ROMs. In this video, I will be comparing the Pixel ROM versus the Nitrogen OS to find out everything. So before starting this video guys, subscribe to this channel, click on bell button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So let's get started. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about these two ROMs and its features, starting with the Pixel ROM. Pixel ROM is often known as a Pixel experience, which the name implies aims to provide a Google Pixel experience on your Pocophone F1. The Pixel OS brings all of the Pixel goodies like the Pixel 3 launcher, live wallpapers, a digital well-being, brand new fonts, and all of the features of stock Android 9.0 Pi are pre-built onto the ROM itself, which means you don't need to flash any Google applications. By the time of recording this video, the the latest build of the Pixel ROM is super stable, everything is working fine, it's smooth and fast and all of your tasks handles without any hiccups. Currently this is one of the most popular custom ROM available for the Pocophone F1. If you want to know how to install it on your Pocophone F1, watch that video by clicking on this card. That being said, I want to take a moment and shout out to a Gearbest for sending me this awesome product. This is called the Xiaomi Amigia Bed Lamp, a perfect lamp for your bedroom, a living room or dining room. This lamp can be controlled through Apple HomeKit or Mezia application. Using this app, you can almost set any color and instantly it will be applied. The lamp brings up a beautiful ambience to your bedroom and it sits anywhere inside your home. If you want to buy this awesome and cool lamp for your home, click on the first link on the top of the description and use the coupon code to get a price cut. And if you want to see in-depth review about this lamp, let me know in the comments down below. Moving on to the Nitrogen OS, uh, this ROM is just like the Oxygen OS, aimed to provide a stock Android 9.0 Pi experience for the Pocophone F1. Nitrogen OS is based on Android open source project made by Russian developers. The main things about this custom ROM is performance and battery life. These are the two pillars about these ROMs. I have been using this ROM for one month now as my daily driver and everything working fine. In fact, I have made a dedicated video about a Nitrogen OS and its features, if you want to know about it, you can click on this card here. So we are having a two popular custom ROMs available for the Pocophone F1. In order to find out which ROM is better for you, watch the video till to the end. So let's start first with the benchmarks as usual. I tried testing a Geekbench and Tutu as usual on both of these ROMs to find out which ROM scores better in real world scenarios. Keep in mind, in order to make this comparison video different from routine, I had a flashed a custom kernel called the Spinex on both of these ROMs to get the most out of them, and that's why the scores are random. That being said, I'm moving on to the performance round. So in this round, as usual, I will be testing a few graphic intensive applications on both of these ROMs and find out which ROM performs better. So I will be opening exactly 14 programs that includes both games and applications and also test the RAM management on both of these ROMs to find out which ROM finishes the first. Wow, the Pixel ROM is finished up first in 1 minute 19 seconds and completed overall round in 2 minute 30 seconds. On the latter, the Nitrogen OS finished up this round in 1 minute 30 seconds and completed overall round in 3 minute 2 seconds. So I ran this test again but this time without system animations. Again, the Pixel ROM finished the first in 1 minute 12 seconds and completed overall run in 2 minutes 17 seconds. On the latter, the Nitrogen OS finished in 1 minute 30 seconds and completed overall run in 2 minutes 50 seconds. Wow, what a comeback. The Pixel ROM is the winner here. Keep in mind that both ROMs are running a custom kernel. I have set the same settings on both ROMs but don't know why Nitrogen OS struggles a lot with the custom kernel and also the RAM management on both of these ROMs are debacle. This could only happen with heavy graphic intensive games. When it comes to performance, both ROMs are amazing and super fast. I'm currently loving the Pixel experience as my primary ROM and games like the PUBG, Asphalt and Legends can be played without any 
many frame drops. All of your applications on both of these ROMs opens up faster and provides a smooth experience, thanks to the Snapdragon 845. Next up, the battery life. With the stock kernel on both of these ROMs, the battery life you get is simply amazing. For a fair and minimal usage, a both ROMs will help you to survive the whole day without any issues. In fact, I had spent my entire day with these ROMs in Hyderabad and the battery life is quite astonishing. I had been consistently using the location services for navigation and my screen on time on Pixel ROM which I got is around a 5 plus hours. On the latter with Nitrogen OS, I got a 5 and up hours very easily. So the battery life is good on the latest builds of these two ROMs. Again, the screen on time usage that I get will not be the same for you. At the end of the day, the battery usage may vary from device to device. So the bottom line of the video, if you're looking for the minimalistic Android experience, go with the Pixel ROM and for advanced features, go with the Nitrogen OS. That's it guys, both ROMs are super fast, yes you can use both of these ROMs as your daily driver without any issues, all of the basic things like the Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, dual OTE, LTE works without any issues. That's pretty much about this guys, I hope you like this video, if in case I have missed anything in the video, you can ask me in the comments down below and I will frequently try to answer your questions. Thanks for watching, this is KSK, I will see you in my next video, bye bye now.